right guys now let's see how to derive or find the derivative of e power x and e power x all right they're much similar so i'm doing them together and there is some trick we'll use as we go ahead in the problem okay it's very interesting look at this let's start with the first guy that y is equal to e power x let's say we don't remember the process or we didn't buy hard this problem but still we know the first three stages right if you know the three stages of first principles still we can work on this all right so let's go ahead what's the first stage it says y should become y plus delta y and x is incremented to x plus delta x what happens here so i get y plus delta y is equal to e power x plus delta x yes and i keep delta y on one side and put everything on the other side that goes like e power x plus delta x minus y that's what i have right now what is y value y is e power x itself so i can write delta y is equal to e power x plus delta x minus e power x now we need to understand one thing from indices if at all i have a power of 5 can i write this as a power 2 plus 3 yes i can and i can write this as a power 2 into a power 3 see if you multiply them anyway it is a power 5 so it means these guys are same i can write a power 5 as a power 2 into a power 3 isn't it or it was also fine to write as a power 2 plus 3 right these two guys are same right what i understand from here is if i have any number right to the power like x plus y i can write this guy twice a and a twice and x goes here and y goes here right the powers would go like that right can i use this here look at this i have e power x plus delta x can i e power x plus delta x as e power x into e power delta x yes that's what i'm trying to do here if I use it, delta y is e power x into e power delta x minus e power x. Why am I doing this? So that I can take e power x common out. That's it. All right? Go ahead. I can take e power x out and I have e power delta x minus 1. All right? That's all it is. This is my first stage. What is the second stage? It's all about dividing both the sides by delta x. Good. So I have e power x and e power delta x minus 1 by delta x. Yes now can i eliminate delta x if at all i i uh, substitute the limit of delta x as zero this whole thing by zero is infinity can i cancel this before i apply the limits no i can't right so what to do now simply i should know one trick here okay if you know the differentiation of y is equal to e power x dy by dx would be e power x only this is the answer basically it's a final answer if you know this, you can actually manipulate while doing it in first principle. See how it works. If that is the case, let me apply the limits. Limit of delta y by delta x, where delta x tends to 0. Yes, there goes like e power x. Or I can write limit of delta x tends to 0. And e power delta x minus 1 by delta x into e power x. Now see, the limit would only go with things which have a delta x, not x, all right? So I can write, I can write e power x out. So I can write this as a limit of uh, delta y by uh, delta x, where delta x tends to zero, can be written as limit of delta y by delta x, where delta x uh, tends to zero. And I'm just taking e power x outside because it doesn't have any delta x. Now what is inside here? That is e power delta x minus 1 by delta x. Yes. Look at this. My answer for the question y is equal to e power x was what? d bar by dx was e power x only. I can add e power x into 1 also. Now, if this is my answer, compare this to what I have right now. What I have right now is this guy. I can write this guy as d bar by dx. I know this. Yes. And I have a e power x also. It means I'm done then who is this whole guy i don't need this so i can add into one and i can write a formula which if you remember fine if you don't remember just write since i can write limit of delta x tends to zero delta y by delta x is given as what e power delta x minus one by delta x this whole value is one which we didn't know but still since logically this has to become one that has to be a formula so we just manipulate and write since that is how much i can write this and divide by dx is how much it is e power x that's all about very simple now, you guys try deriving uh, or finding the derivative of a power x using first principles and here also you will get something like that all right so see whether you can manipulate it or not all right